Designing your very own branded product to sell online is one of, if not the best way to start an online business today. This could be anything from your own branded athletic clothing or a desk mat through to an electric toothbrush or even an entirely unique invention we've yet to see. So if you've ever dreamed of selling your very own product at scale, then this video is going to help you out. I'm going to show you the basics to sourcing and customizing your very own products on alibaba.com step-by-step with two strategies, the RFQ method and the RTS method. So let's get into it. Hey friends, Andrew here. Hope you're all well. What I'll be sharing in this video today is something I wish I had watched when I first began building an e-commerce business years ago. And these are the steps you need to follow before you even open up a Shopify store. It's a good idea to watch this entire video until the very end before you continue building an online store. And by the way, it most definitely is not not too late to start an e-commerce business. Just take a look at this year on year chart right here. It is truly ridiculous. The growth has been constant and we're expected to reach over $6 trillion in total online sales in a single year. So there are for a fact, hundreds if not thousands of individuals out there on a daily basis designing their products from scratch and going on to create successful lucrative businesses that also provide value to this world and as i always say on this channel you just need a small slice of this gigantic pie to generate a life-changing amount of wealth think about it just 0.01% of $6 trillion is $600 million. So how are we going to take your product idea uh, from your brain and turn it into something that you can see, touch, maybe even smell, then sell it to the world. It's all going to be done with Alibaba.com, which almost everybody uses when they first begin to build their custom product business. Alibaba.com is essentially the world's largest business to business platform. It allows you and I to connect up to manufacturers across the world instantly. So we're able to work with them to create our products in bulk and have them imported into our country where we can then of course sell them. It really is home to high quality suppliers, manufacturers, and millions of customers that use this platform to grow their very own profitable business. So before we jump into my laptop now and show you the right step-by-step -step strategies to finding the best suppliers to create your custom product, I wanna firstly thank Alibaba.com for sponsoring this video. I'm very fortunate to work with not only one of the largest companies in the world, but a company that I've used myself over the years to build my very own business. So it's amazing to see it come full circle and I'm now able to work with them to help you to build your dream business with Alibaba.com. So let's get started by clicking the link down below in the description box, then you'll land on this page here. It may look overwhelming if you haven't yet used Alibaba.com but it's totally okay. That's why you're watching this video and that's why I'm here. So what we're gonna do first is we're going to create a new account. As you can see, I'm already signed into my current account, but what I'm gonna do is sign out and then create a new account with you so you can follow on step by step. So once you click on the sign up button, you'll land on this page here. So make sure that you fill this all out. So of course, we're gonna be your buyer, enter your email address, your password, your company name, which is really important, your full name, telephone, and then verify yourself. So once we've created our account, there's three strategies to find the right supplier. The first strategy is of course, just direct search. This is actually a method that I don't recommend, but I'll show you anyway. So in the case of this video, let's assume we wanna create a men's parka coat. So what you do is click on the categories, go over to apparel, then men's clothing. And so what we're simply gonna do is click men's coats or men's parkas or whatever it might be, and scroll all the way down and find the appropriate item that you might wanna sell. So in this case, let's click here. We've got this specific Parker and of course you go through and look at the supplier information ensure that everything is okay I'll talk about that more later in this video and then you click contact supplier then a pop-up oh actually let me sign in first so as I was saying once you click contact supplier there's a pop-up that comes up and this is just an inquiry form so ensure that you fill out everything as is and enter in all your information here and you can imagine that it's going to be pretty time-consuming you're gonna to have to find the products separately and then you need to mail an inquiry form to each and every one of these suppliers. So this is definitely something you can do, but 
There's two more strategies that I'll go over that I recommend you use. So the first one is ready to ship. As you can see here, there's low and minimum order quantities, MOQs. So you can just order, you know, one or two items um, and you don't need to bulk purchase. The other benefit is you can order directly from the supplier and they'll ship it directly to you. Um, and it's also overall a fast dispatch time. So this is great if you just wanna essentially buy a couple items, drop ship potentially. Um, how, how you do this is, you know, you click source now. So you can see, you can get away with just purchasing two pieces, sometimes one piece, um, and just drop ship essentially from there. So that is essentially the RTS method through Alibaba.com that's ready to ship. But now I'm gonna go over the RFQ method, which is the one that I recommend you use and the one that I use personally. So what we're gonna do is propose to suppliers out there what we wanna create. And so suppliers will come to us and then essentially give us their quotes so we can get a range of different quotes we can see which supplier we want to work with talk with them and this is the most time efficient cost efficient way to go about finding suppliers in my opinion so i would go down here click on source on alibaba.com and click submit rfq so once you come here extremely important that you fill this out in clear detail and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to number one guide you through exactly what you need to fill out when it comes to the quotation. And then number two, I'm gonna fill this out myself and then we'll see what sort of uh, what sort of replies we get from suppliers and how to find the right supplier once we do get those quotations. Let's start with product name, that's pretty self-explanatory. Then you go into category, right? If you don't select the correct category, you're going to lose out on uh, potentially great suppliers that are not within the niche. So in this case, I'm gonna click men's clothing uh, let's just go with men's uh, coats. Click OK. And then going back up here, uh, click sourcing type. So in this case, it's gonna be a customized product because we want to completely customize. Then it's gonna ask you, what do you wanna customize? So you click here, you can select multiple. So in this case, I might want to add a custom logo on the shoulder of this coat. And I also want custom packaging. And I also want customized function. So. For instance, I might want to add in a different material within the inner layer of the coat for warmth insulation, for instance. So this is a great perk of Alibaba.com. You can completely customize the product to a T and work with your supplier on that. And then sourcing purpose, go ahead and click wholesale. You can see that it's not uh, compulsory here, but you wanna give the supplier more information than less. Quantity, um, let's just go with two, 2,000 in this case. Uh, trade terms, okay, so I won't go over every single trade term, but you can see that there is a short explanation if you scroll over them. The most popular two are FOB and EXW. So FOB is essentially, uh, as you can see, free on board. What this means is the supplier is responsible for shipping to the area that you're in or wherever you wanna to ship to essentially. EXW Xworks is really popular among suppliers because they mitigate all their risk. They don't, they're not in charge of anything except the creation of your product. So you're, as the buyer, you are responsible for everything from shipping, you know, taxation, whatever is involved between getting that product uh, over to your warehouse or where you need it to be. So those are the two most popular. Let's go with FOB for now. Um, and preferred unit price. So I actually like to keep this pretty clear. So I don't like to add in a price here because that's something I wanna discuss with the supplier later. Um, but everything else I do add in, like shell material features, whatever, this might change depending on what product you're selling. The lead time is totally up to you. It depends on if you need the product pretty quickly or you need a sample at the very least pretty quickly. So when it comes to details, this is the extremely important part. So what I like to do is of course, introduce myself first and then give them background about the company that you represent. So for instance, I might say, um, hey, I represent you know XYZ company from New York. Give them a little spiel about your company. And the point here is you wanna ensure that you're telling the supplier that you are a legitimate company, you are not there to waste their time, and you are very interested in creating a partnership with them to create products that you're going to sell. So give them a brief background about your company, who you are, and tell them that you're looking for a long-term partnership with a supplier. And so, 
You're firstly creating credibility there first to pique their interest. They receive so many uh, requests every single month. And mind you, they are only able to respond, depending on like what type of supplier plan they're on, they're able to only reply to a select number of uh, weekly and monthly uh, RFQs. So just be wary of that. And then what I would do here is describe the product, but beyond just describing the product, okay? So product, you also wanna add, and this is incredibly important, product spec sheet. So a product spec sheet is where you tell them everything from the dimensions of the product, the, the material, um, images of the product, mock-ups that you might have, all in a PDF document, multiple pages. This is so, so, so extremely important because number one, it gives them a better idea of if they're able to work with you. And then number two, it shows them that you're extremely credible and that you are very serious about this product. You can get away with not having product spec sheet. You just need to be a bit more detailed with uh, your what you give them up front if you don't have a product spec sheet. Now, I have a, I always use a product spec sheet but if, you, uh, if you're looking for a template, let me know down in the comments below. I always have a product spec sheet available, but um, I might give that out. So beyond that, actually underneath here, I will translate what I said in English to whatever uh, language is relevant to them just by Google Translate actually. So I'll copy and paste it in Google Translate and paste it back into here. This just shows them that you know, you're empathetic and that you are trying to work um, against language barriers and that you are trying to cater to them as well. It just gives them, you know, a personal connection. And I find that your response rate is higher if you do so. Now, supplier capability. This is also very important. So let's say if you're planning to sell a protein powder, well, then you need a specific certification to be able to sell in the States, the United States, for example. This differs depending on where you are. But you wanna make sure that you're working with a supplier that has the capability to provide those certifications. So let's say, and there's a lot of certifications, I'm obviously not gonna go through all of them, but ISO 22000, for example, is an international standard for food safety that can be applied to any organization in the food chain. So something like that, you'll definitely need to sell food products. You wanna work with a supplier that is able to give you those certifications. Moving on to shipping and payment, the sea freight, air freight, express land freight. So obviously if I'm shipping to the Australia, for instance, depending on where the supplier is, I'll have to go with air freight. Lead time, I actually like to keep this completely empty because again, this is something I wanna discuss with the supplier later on. And then payment term, I'm not gonna go through all of them, but. I'll tell you that the most popular is TT. Again, depends on what you're trying to achieve here. But TT is essentially a wire transfer. It's the one that I go with usually. So once you have that all filled out, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna fill it out myself and then we'll see what sort of uh, offers that we get, RFQs that we get. Um, make sure that the completeness is at least at great um, because again, you wanna give them more details than less. So I'm gonna click uh, submit once I've filled this all out. So with the power of editing, I'll see you in a few seconds. All right, and it's been a couple hours. I went to the gym, came back, and we've received four quotes. So you can see on screen here, let's click view quotes. So you can see the four options here. So there's two from China, one from Pakistan, and even one from India. So a good range, though there are a few things you need to keep an eye for when it comes to great suppliers. And some of that is uh, how many years have they been using Alibaba.com? So you can see here, almost all of them have been here for two years, except this one here who has been uh, on Alibaba.com for a year. You typically want uh, at minimum a two year duration on the platform. So if I click view quotation on this one, for instance, you can see that the shipping details, their port is from Shanghai. Take a look at where they're based, for instance, if they're based in Shenzhen in uh, China, then that is obviously a very tech heavy space, a tech heavy city. And so those, uh, some of the de demographic or geographics, I should say, that you should take into consideration when you're purchasing from the suppliers. Do note that these images or these examples that they've provided, they are able to create this from scratch. So they are not providing you with products that are already made, but they are able to create this from scratch. 
So they've quoted $39 per piece here, almost $40. Um, a whole range of features with this one. Again, this can be completely customized. They are a manufacturer and not just a trading company, unlike the first one. And they specialize in jackets, parka coats, outwear, down jacket. So out of these four, and I will most likely receive more quotations overnight, but simply out of these four, I would probably contact this one. If I click view quotation over here, you can see that the communication is pretty decent. What I would do from here is I would click contact and initiate that conversation with them. You won't know for sure which supplier you wanna go with simply by looking at these RFQ quotations, but you will need to talk to them, have a chat with them. If possible, um, get on the phone with them. That being said, there's usually language barriers. If you don't speak their language, then it can be difficult, but you know, messaging them back and forth can do, but it's obviously best if you hop onto uh, WeChat or have a call with them. If you're also wondering how to create an e-commerce store from scratch to now sell your product that you just created, like this Parker coat on screen here, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description box below where I teach you to do exactly that. But before you leave this video and start reaching out to suppliers, let's wrap up with some bonus tips that I'll share with you right now. Now, submitting an RFQ is by far the most efficient way to find your perfect supplier. But as you've seen in this video so far, you'll wanna submit your RFQ correctly. So make sure that you, number one, over over communicate in the RFQ proposal. Suppliers only get a maximum of 30 RFQs per month so far. So you wanna make sure that yours count. Just like a job resume, you don't want to send a boring and short resume because you know companies receive hundreds of resumes a day. So spend time on crafting that perfect RFQ. Number two, make sure you audit your supplier, look at their company info, ask for the compliance documents such as reports, technical files, company certificates, clarify general purchasing terms like your minimum order quantity and ask for an OEM sample. Number three, clarify payment terms. This is also very important. Before you make payment, you need to check out this tutorial here if you want to learn a little more about payment terms. Uh, incredibly important to ensure that you're paying correctly. Number four is build up that relationship you have with your supplier. You are going into a business partnership with the supplier you choose and it's an important mutually beneficial relationship that has a potential to grow. So communicate with your supplier, be friendly, go above and beyond. And a pro tip is learn how to use WeChat or offer to use WeChat when you talk to your supplier because it's almost always their go-to platform to communicate on and they'll appreciate you for offering that option to talk to them on WeChat. So overall, the more RFQs you send off, the better you'll get at crafting the perfect request, which means receiving more quotes, better suppliers and lower prices, which ultimately means higher profit margins for your business or at least more wiggle room to play with to spend more on business costs like your team or Facebook ads. What I recommend you do now is check out the link below in the description box, create an account and start filling out the RFQ form to pr practice communicating with suppliers until you find the one that's right for you. It's always a good idea to network with suppliers so they can become contacts you can reach out to whenever you have a product you want to create. So go ahead and use the link down below and let me know how you go with your own RFQ submission in the comments below. And by the way, if you're still here at this point in the video, drop an e-commerce empire comment and I'll like it since I know you made it to the end of this video. Alibaba.com seriously is the single platform you need to start building an e-commerce empire and business that'll bring you cash flow and hopefully deliver value to this world. I'll leave on screen here a follow-up tutorial that you should watch after this video if you're looking for the next steps and wanting to build out your Shopify store with your new products. If this video tutorial has helped you out, then drop this video a like and subscribe to this channel with notification turned on. We're all about online business, digital marketing, and tech gear here. And as always, thank you for watching.